Welcome guys to another episode on the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and welcome to another Merc Monday episode. And today we will not only get a lot more weight out of the rear of the car, I also will unveil a pretty good plan what to do about the uh, electric sunroof. So stay tuned. So uh, today we will uh, remove the rear airbags, uh, the seat belts in the rear and the electric sunshade. I hope at least that I get to that and maybe even parts of the stereo system. Um, I'm now really committed to the two-seater layout so to speak and um, yeah as I said last time we might as well take all the weight out of the car that we don't need in the rear and that includes seat belts, airbags and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah about that electric sunroof that we have here which is pretty heavy um, I was thinking about removing that and I thought well okay I might have to find a guy that can weld a piece in there instead of the glass because obviously that will be gone uh, but then you probably have to um, remove the paint around there so you can weld to it and it would be, it, it would be a little bit messy and uh, then I thought, wait a minute, I've seen carbon fiber roofs that are being sold for this car that are usually just for looks, uh, so usually you just glue them on there and they do nothing. But I can use one of those to basically uh, glue over the gap. Um, and I think that's exactly what I will do. I will still save quite a bit of weight in a pretty important uh, spot of the car. Uh, exactly as high up as, as you can go uh, in the roof there um, and yeah it will look good it's a clean install and I think that's a pretty good idea but anyway let's start with the wear today and let's start by removing the airbags so I'm starting to remove the seat belts in the rear which should, should be a pretty straightforward process god damn it come on so I have to emphasize again that I will register this car as a two-seater, which is what you have to do in Germany if you want to drive without your seatbelts in the rear. So that will have to happen. Um, but yeah, as I said, I thought if we remove the rear seats and all that kind of stuff, why not remove the rest? It just makes sense. And yeah, all the little things add up to a pretty big weight saving in the end, I hope. Alright, with the trim removed you can just pull that away. You can see that we have all these little clips here that hold these plastic in place and behind, behind this piece you can see it right there. It says airbag. Um, there should be the rear airbag which was optional. So we just have to get rid of those and then we can remove this trim piece here. All right, so very important step, guys. Whenever you do anything with an airbag, um, be it removing the steering wheel to get a new one in, hint, 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 um, you always want to disconnect the battery first and uh, let the car sit for a few minutes because uh, if you uh, try to remove the airbag and it blows up in your face, that's a pretty bad thing to happen. So what I will do next is uh, actually remove um, uh, the not remove the battery but disconnect the battery and then we will continue all right so uh, now the car has been sitting for a few minutes and now I will remove uh, this airbag and uh, yeah pretty straightforward process there's a screw here there's a screw there and there is a wire that's attached to it with a plug I can't figure out right now how to get it out there but yeah let's unbolt that sucker and then let's see how we will do that oh yeah that is that is nice and heavy so now I gotta get this little plug out Ah, there we go. All right, one airbag module removed. I would assume this weighs, yeah, maybe one and a half kilos. 
it's not too bad but as I said every little bit will add up towards the end and since nobody will ever sit here anymore we might as well take it out so next I would like to get to that seat belt up here um, I will have to figure out how we can do that so yeah let's take a look all right I got good news and bad news so I'm here in the rear of the car and I have removed the locks for the rear seats because we don't need those anymore. Um, the issue that I'm having right now is I can't really get to that seat belt because I don't know how to remove this panel here. Or at least I don't know how to do that safely so I can reattach it later. Um, so I think what I will do now is get to the airbag on the other side. Oh, telephone. Okay. So what I will do now is I will remove the airbag from the other side and uh, then I will try to get... Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> Telephone again! Alright, so let's try this again. <laughs> so I will now remove uh, the airbag here on the driver's side and then I will try to remove the speakers that are sitting uh, above this panel here, or actually um, that are sitting below here. Um, I don't really know how to get there, but uh, I have an idea. All right, guys. So I've did. Uh, hold on. All right, guys. So I did some research. I hope that you can see me. The lighting here is a little bit tricky, but apparently, what you have to do is you have to pull this out. Towards you, which seems to be a little bit tricky, but let's see. Okay, so that was a little bit trickier than I initially thought, but I think I have it out now. I just hope that I can get everything back together. Okay, we got that. And we just pull it out. There we go. Okay, that was tricky. All right, more good news. I do have the rear deck lit off. And what you can see here, that is basically the assembly for the, uh, for the rear sunshade. So I will take that off now because I have never used that. I wouldn't even know why I would use that. Um, apparently some people like it, but uh, I don't know. I don't need it, so it has to go. So that's the next step. All right, so let me show you what it looks like back here now. I've removed the speaker unit, which was right here, which was pretty heavy. And uh, you can see the hinges for the trunk on the right side and the left side here. Uh, this is just a little tweeter. I will leave that in because it weighs next to nothing. So this is pretty much all that I could uh, remove from this area. I will now put the trim back. I hope that everything uh, will still fit and work. Uh, we will see about that and then we will weigh what I have removed. You can see that back there. Let me zoom in for you guys. Everything that's in that little bucket there is what we have removed, which is quite a bit of stuff. I actually hope that we will maybe crack the uh, 50 kilo mark uh, today. I think when we last left off we had saved 37.5 kilos if I'm not mistaken so we might actually crack the 50 kilo mark today which would be pretty awesome because um, except for the rear seats everything that we've removed so far is just small stuff and the big ticket items in terms of weight saving are still yet to come so yeah wish me luck guys now I will have to put the trim back on and I hope that everything will still fit we will see about that in a second Alright guys, everything is back together as you can see here, uh, which actually kind of surprised me. <laughs> yeah, quite happy. We got quite a bit of weight out of the car today, none of which I will miss while using it. So actually, uh, what's left is actually weighing what I've taken out. So uh, let's take a look at that. Alright guys, the results are 
in, I would have needed 12.5 kilos to break through the 50 kilo saved barrier. Uh, unfortunately, we only made it to 11.7, but uh, I think that's still a pretty good result and I'm happy with that. Next time, uh, there's still one more thing that I want to take out out of the uh, rear area. And I think that is the door speakers at the rear and the electric window motors. So uh, I guess that's what we will do next time. And uh, yeah, uh, that was a lot more work than I thought it would be, <laughs> but it went well. Everything is back together. Um, yeah, I guess this is it for today's episode, guys. Tomorrow will be another Time Attack Tuesday episode. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.